Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be looking at how to share files and folders in Google Drive. If you are sharing in Google Drive, you can right click on the file and get the share button here, or you can go to the top right hand corner and there's a share icon there as well. If you are in any of the Google type documents, you can find the share button as well. In some of the Google tools, it might be slightly different with an icon or add collaborators. So do watch out for that. So back in Google Drive, I'm going to right click and click on the share button. So this is where I can begin to put in the name of the person or groups that I want to share this with. So once I get the name of the person in, and it's important to check you have the name of the right person, uh, so you don't share your document or information with the wrong people. So once you have that in, you can then check the level that you want to share with them. So by default, it is an editor level, and this means they can go in, they can change things in the document, and they can also add other people. Other options are commenters. So with commenter access, that means that they can add suggestions to your document. So this is really good if you want someone to just review your document and make suggestions. Then you have viewer access, and that means they just be able to look at the document. When we are sharing, we can add a message. If you don't want to add a message, you don't have to add anything. But if you click send, they will still get an email. If you don't want them to get the email, you can untick this box and just click share. If I go into the settings, if I untick this, it means that editors cannot add other people to this. And also if I untick this, it means that viewers and commenters won't be able to download, print or copy the file. So this means there's just extra levels of security for your document. So once I'm happy, I can click send. And that person will receive an email. You can tell if a document or a folder is shared by this little icon that will appear next to them in Google Drive. If I want to now change this, I can go into the share option again. And so I can see here who has access. If I click on the drop down, I can see some other options as well. So I could change the level of access they have. I could give them temporary access. I could make them the owner of the document or I can remove it. If you are making someone the owner of the document, you then don't have the power to undo that. So do make sure you're happy to do so. Sharing with folders works the same way. If I click share, again, I can put in the level of access I want the person to have, but the option is now are for viewer or editor. One thing we do have to be careful of when sharing folders is that other members can delete things from that folder. So if I have a folder here, I've got my training folder. If I go into this, I've named this file deleted file. Now, if the other person who has access to this folder deletes this file, so I'm just doing that on my other screen, I've deleted that. Now, if I refresh this, that will disappear for me and other users of that folder. But if you are the owner of that file, I can then do a search for deleted file. So it's still there, so I can see the deleted file. And then what I'd have to do is go in and move it to the folder I want to move it back into. So if I go back into my drive, into training, I can see the files back in there. So it's only if the owner of the file deletes the file that it will be deleted permanently. So I hope this will now enable you to share files and folders effectively in Google Drive.